Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan. 신사 숙녀 여러분, 미 합중국 대통령 각하 네 분께서 입장하십니다. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, we have felt that it's important for the President of the United States to meet a broad cross-section of a very sophisticated, modernizing society. It was a hard selection, but we have some of the really remarkable here this evening. We have that our President should happen, have an opportunity to see that Korea is indeed a diverse and wonderful modern society, and we believe the representatives here tonight uh, truly embody that society. We're happy to have you here. It is my distinct honor to introduce to you the President of the United States of America, Ronald Reagan. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Nancy and I are honored to be so warmly greeted by your distinguished group. We've come to Korea to demonstrate the deep and affectionate concern that the American people have for your country. Our hearts went, <coughs> went out to you in the wake of the two murderous attacks on your citizens, and we came today to say that we'll continue to steadfastly stand by you. We hope our presence in your country will show the world our firm support for Korea. Probably the most important contribution we can make here is to continue helping protect your national security. Our shared commitment to your defense is symbolized by the presence of American soldiers standing with Koreans along the demilitarized zone. This is the shield that enables you to pursue your bold economic and political objectives. We also support your development of a democratic political system. As you know, the United States pays close attention to political developments in Korea, particularly those that are affecting democratic rights, a matter very important to Americans. We do this not because we believe our security commitment gives us a right to intervene in your inter internal affairs, but simply because such issues are at the center of our own political ideology and we feel uh, are reflected then in our foreign policy. But in approaching such internal matters, I believe it's important to adhere to the discipline of diplomacy rather than indulging in public posturing. This has been the policy of our administration throughout the world. Where we feel strongly about a particular situation, we make our views known, often quite candidly, to the appropriate level of the government concerned. I have faith in the Korean people's ability to find a political system meeting their democratic aspirations, even in the face of the heavy security challenge presented by the North. You have accomplished so much already in the face of that threat. Who would have predicted a mere 20 years ago that an impoverished Korea would become one of the world's legendary economic success legends? This was a Korean accomplishment. Your friends offered help and guidance as these were needed, but they didn't seek to dictate your course. Political development may in some respects be a more difficult process, but it too is one in which you alone must control. I respect and strongly support President Chun's pledge to turn over power constitutionally in 1988. This will be an invaluable political legacy to the Korean people, and I believe in the will and ability of the Korean people to develop the foundations required for viable democratic institutions. 
the shared democratic aspirations of our two peoples are important to our relationship. And continued progress toward the broadening of democracy in Korea strengthens the ties between our two countries. As you continue along this path of political evolution, you do so with our deep support, our affection, and our prayers. And again, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your warm and very gracious welcome from the first moment that we arrived here today. We are deeply grateful. God bless you.
Okay, let's do the unfamiliar one first. God of our fathers. All off the top. Follow my lead. I'll try to sing loud enough to just sing I think I can so that we all can hear it. God of our fathers, whose almighty hand leads for Our grateful song before thy throne arise. Refresh. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. God is spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. We invite you to turn into the inside of your folder. I do Please forth in beauty all the starry band of shining worlds in splendor through the skies. Our grateful song before thy throne arise. Refresh thy people on the from night to never-ending day. Fill all our lives with love and grace divine and glory Lord. Our Heavenly Father, we're grateful to you this morning for this beautiful day upon which to... I'll be reading from the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, maintain justice and practice the right. Up it on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Starting from Colossians, therefore, as God's chosen, set apart and enjoy His love. Clothe yourselves with tenderness of heart, kindliness, humility, gentleness, patient endurance. Bear one on another and forgive each other. You will take one has a grievance against another. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so do you. But crown it all with love, which is a perfect band of union. And let the peace of Christ, to which you are called in one body, arbitrate in your heart, and be thankful. Let the enriching message of Christ have meant to you in your lives as you instruct and admonish one another in all wisdom, wisdom, and hymn, and the spiritual song, glory of thee, to it all, in the name of the Jesus, through whom you are offering thanks to God the Father. The 
this morning in our service we have the children of the San Clang Orphanage to share a song with us. The San Clang Orphanage is an orphanage that is supported by many of the orphanages here in Korea by our military people. This particular orphanage is supported by the 1st of the 9th Infantry, who are stationed here at Liberty Bell and at Camp Greaves, by the Joint Security Area Command, stationed across the street at Camp Kitty Hawk, and by Bravo Company of the 2nd Engineers at Camp Edwards. This time the children would like to... Thank <laughs> you. 